the Four Seasons album was born out of necessity. After I realized that I could not finish Time 2 yet, I thought, well, I need to do something. By that time, I had already started to do a little remastering on our first album and Time 1, so I thought these would make two great items for the crowdfunding. We had also done a live multitrack recording of our Tuska Festival performance, and I listened to it and thought, okay, this sounds pretty good. I'm gonna mix and master this and make it great. And the end result was a solid live album and it became another great item for the package. Then I thought, okay, I wanna make one new epic song for the crowdfunders. Something that I could do with my resources. Something new and different and special. During that time in the summer, I was wandering through this beautiful and magical forest close to my home and I was blown away by the raw beauty of nature and I felt the trees whispering in my ears and the inspiration hit me. Then I found this really cool riff and melody from my library of ideas that perfectly reflected my awakening in the forest and I started working on this song like a madman. In the dark rain, the grey mountains sing Sad song of winter and the howling wind Wizards of the past in the haunting dreams Wander the dead sky under the widow trees The night falls upon the forest that waves Father of shadows, that forever, that forever sleeps. This song became The Forest That Weaves. It's something new and a little bit different from what we have usually done, but I like to surprise people and also challenge myself. This is actually the mystery song that we've been playing live already, but we didn't tell anyone what it was, but now you know. As time went on, I felt that we needed to have more in the package and make it even bigger. As the song The Forest That Weeps was finished, I got inspiration for new songs with similar style. And before I knew it, I had great starting points for three new epic songs. And I felt I needed to make a full album from them. It was destiny. As I was working on the new album and the song started to emerge, I noticed that all of the four songs had the same vibe but all still quite different in some way. They were all complementing each other, but each of them being very unique. The song Loneliness has this cold and lonely winter feeling to it, and it's probably the most beautiful and definitely the most sorrowful song that are written to this day. Of course, there's still silver leaves waiting on time too, but that'll have to wait for now. Sorry. But then, on the other hand, the forest that weaves had this energetic and epic summer feeling about it, but still keeping this dark and sorrowful feeling behind it, that the summer is ending and winter is coming. So this song was the total opposite, a big contrast, but still they felt like they should be on the same album. It 
Eternal Darkness is probably the darkest song I've ever written and it definitely has this gloomy, evil and mysterious autumn feeling. As you may know, Finnish autumns are very dark, long and depressing. You hardly see the sun at all. This song is about death as metaphorically everything dies in autumn. It also has this twist that a lot of it is written from death's point of view and how it sees life as a mistake in the universe. Also my dad died during autumn time so I wrote the song also about that and in many ways this album is very personal to me much more than the previous albums I've done. I'm especially proud of the lyrics and although I do say so myself the lyrics on this album are my finest writing to this day. Awaken from the dark slumber, as the name suggests, is definitely the spring song, as it is the most energetic and bombastic song on the album. Although the first part of the song is quite mystical and dark, illustrating the sleep, the slumber before spring. In the second part, the awakening, you really get the spring energy with some epic killer riffs, melodies and grooving drums. It's also a metaphor about the awakening of minds in our crazy world and in my personal life too, which is kind of what this crowdfunding is also about. All the songs on this album are massive and long epic journeys. Two of them over 12 minutes and two of them even over 14 minutes long. Awaken from the Dark Slumber and Eternal Darkness are multi-part songs in the vein of Star Child and Sons of Winter and Stars, which we know our fans just love. It was a lot of hard work, but in the end it all came together effortlessly. It was clear that this album was going to be our version of Vivaldi's The Four Seasons, although it has nothing to do with Vivaldi musically or with classical music. It's very much solid winter on a material. Nothing like this has ever been done in the heavy metal scene. It's one of a kind album and we call it The Forest Seasons. The 